Hi guys, welcome to Shaq's World, my name is Shaq. Today I'll be doing an update on the last two hit and run videos I made for you guys. On the first one, I showed you guys a small footage of the lady reversing into my 2017 Suzuki GSXR 1000 and driving off. She basically done a hit and run. And I even showed you guys the damages that's done to my motorcycle. On the second one, I showed you guys how I found the lady that done a hit and run on my 2017 Suzuki GSXR 1000. I'll put it in the link below for you guys to check out the last two videos. On this video, I'll be showing you guys the parts I bought to get my motorcycle repaired, how much I bought the parts for, and how to get my 2017 Suzuki GSXR 1000 repaired. But before that, guys, please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Shaq's World. So let's have a look at the parts I bought to get my 2017 Suzuki GSXR repaired. I bought this fairing piece because this part of the fairing was badly damaged. I bought this rubber piece, it goes over here. I bought the bracket that goes behind the fairing, it was badly damaged as well. I bought all the bolts that I need. I also bought the brake lever as well. All the parts including the original brake lever cost me $330. However, because I'm a YouTuber, they gave me a $20 discount thanks to Western Motorcycles. I'll put their link in the description for you guys to check them out. Let's take the fairing off. Step one, you gotta take all these Allen key bolts off. Step two, we gotta take all these clips off. You can use a small Allen key like this to take them off or a flathead screwdriver like this. When you take all the clips off behind this panel, all you have to do is you got to pull the panel out. It's very easy. And now this one will come off a lot easier. When you're pulling this panel out, you have to be very gentle to make sure you don't break anything. When you pull this panel out, you got to pull this plug off. You can use your flat head screwdriver to take the plug off for the indicator. When you pull the panel out, it's very important you take this hose off very gently. So what you do is you just twist it a bit until it comes off. Very simple. Next step is to separate this panel from this panel, you gotta take off three screws. There's one over here, one here, and one over here. Three screws in total. When you take this panel off, it will be very easy to take off the next panel. What you do is you press it down and you have a play with it comes off very easily. Now the panels are separate. To put the new panel on it's very easy you just slide it in. But you got to be very careful so you don't scratch the new panel. When everything lines up you can just clip them in. Next step is to clip your old panel to the new panel. Next step is to put the three screws back on. Next step is to get your 8mm spanner and take the bracket off. Look how badly it's damaged. Let's put our new bracket on with the new bolts. So what we do is we put the bracket on and hand tighten them so we can line them up. When we are happy with the way it lines up, let's get our 8mm spanner and tighten them up. Let's put our fairing back on. First, we gotta put the plug back in for the indicator. Second, we gotta put the hose back in. Let's put the fairing back on. All we have to do is clip the fairing back in now. But when you're clipping this in, you gotta be very gentle so you don't scratch anything. When you clip your fairing back on, what you gotta do is put all the bolts back on, however, you hand tighten them to make sure everything lines up, then you tighten everything up. have it the new panel looks much better when I was trying to tighten this bolt up I put a scratch here unfortunately however it still looks much better than the old one look how badly it was damaged <laughs> 